We now move on to the Great War of 1914-18. As men enlisted to join the army, their families started to have some financial problems. So a fund was started. Prince Edward, Prince of Wales, became the figurehead of the fund, and the fund was called the Prince of Wales National Relief Fund. The idea was to provide financial assistance and material support to suffering families with the fund, and it ran from 1914 to the mid 1930s. The postcard here was sold for a penny with heart, a halfpenny going towards the fund itself. Another item is this pack of playing cards with the Prince of Wales National Relief Fund 1914. And now for the more famous Princess Mary Fund Tin. The 17 year old daughter of King George V and Queen Mary wanted, like the rest of the royal family, to do something for the fighting troops in France. The idea was to send the troops a gift of tobacco at Christmas 1914. This became an idea of the life of its own. With the help of a few famous and rich people, a committee was formed, and the birth of the famous brass tin was born. The tin, as can be seen, had the side profile of Princess Mary and the names of various allies. As over 80% of the population smoked, tobacco and cigarettes were top of the list to be provided. The contents of the tin being a pack of pipe tobacco and a pack of 20 cigarettes in the yellow wrappers bearing the monogram M of Princess Mary. In the packet of cigarettes could be found a photograph of the princess. The tin also contained a Christmas card from the princess and friends with best wishes for happy Christmas and a victorious new year. The tins that were supplied after 1914 had 1915 on the front and inside it said best wishes for a victorious new year. Admiral Jellicoe's wife suggested that the naval personnel should receive a bullet pencil with the bullet made out of sterling silver which is impressed on the side of the bullet itself. This later became the general issue to non-smokers. For female nurses, uh, the tins contained chocolate and for the Indian troops, depending on their religion, either sweets or spices. The tin arrived in a cardboard box. Inside the cardboard box would be a pipe, a tinder lighter and various other gifts that were available at the time. But due to the quantity of brass sheet required to manufacture the tins and brass being used in the munitions industry, the fund had to look abroad for a fresh supply. They ordered 45 tonnes of brass sheet to be put onto the Lusitania, but unfortunately the Lusitania was sunk off the coast of Ireland. So subsequent tins manufactured after this date were made out of an inferior plated alloy. This is one of the rare Asprey lighters, but due to the flint coming from Austria, and Austria being on the German side during the war, they had to cease manufacture. This tinder lighter was then the replacement item, which is mostly found with the Princess Mary tins. This is an example of the pipes issued with the Princess Mary gift fund. They vary in different sizes due to the quantity required. This one has an attribution to a Corporal Harold S. Elwood, Seaforth Highlanders, who was wounded in June 1915 at Festerburt. And now for a couple of items incorrectly described as being part of Princess Mary's gift tin. The first being a greeting from the King and Queen at Christmas 1914. Here you see a postcard with the King and Queen. The King's in a Field Marshal's uniform for the Army. 
and on the back of the card you can see with best wishes for Christmas 1914 may God protect you and bring you home safe with the signatures of Queen Mary and King George V. The card came in an envelope with a tissue paper protector in front of the card itself. For naval personnel the King's in a uniform of a Admiral of the Fleet. It has the same sentiment on the back as the one to the army. For personnel recovering in hospital, the back of the card said, with our best wishes for Christmas 1914, may you soon be restored to health. On the front of the card was the king in a military uniform. I've never seen a naval one. The next item incorrectly described as being part of Princess Mary's gift tin is a letter from Queen Mary and the women of the Empire. The letter was came with knitted garments which had been knitted by women of the Empire as a gift to the troop. The women all belonged to Queen Mary's Needlework Guild. In the Guild they knitted socks, mittens, balaclavas for the troops in the trenches. And now for a few items given to the wounded in hospital. The first one is a cigarette tin given by Queen Alexandra when she visited the wounded in the hospital. The tin contained 25 cigarettes with Queen Alexandra's name on. Cadbury's sent the troops a tin of chocolate. On the front of the tin had King George V's image. Inside the tin was a message from Cadbury Brothers with hearty Christmas greetings to the wounded soldiers and sailors and with best wishes for a speedy recovery. Another rare item is this one of a tin of toffees from the Grocers Federation. On the back of the tin it says to our fighting heroes with best wishes from the British Grocers Federation Christmas 1914. And inside the tin could be a personal message from the person who donated the tin to the soldier or sailor receiving it. Another gift in 1914 was from the colonies of Trinidad, Grenada and St Lucia. They sent a gift of coca which Cadbury's converted into chocolate and placed into gift tins manufactured by Mansfield firm of Barringer, Wallace and Manners. This box is the Roundtree service box of 1915. After collecting 30 tokens given with elect chocolate, you could send the tin post free to a named serviceman. The tin was a revamp of one that was available in 1911, but this one had the added year date of 1915 below the image of King George V. The box contained a bar of elect chocolate, six postcards and a pencil in the sliding compartment at the rear of the tin. This compartment would also be handy for storing cigarettes and had the added advantage of a Vesta striking plate at the rear. Here we can see the tin open and to the left we can see the Vesta striking plate. Here we can see the inside of the rear lid with Roundtree and Co. The King and Queen underneath and either side the Royal ciphers of the King and Queen. Oh!